Hi, my name is Brian Hamilton. Uh, I'm pastor of Arundel Christian Church. Been there for probably nine years now. This is my wife, Melinda Hamilton. She serves with me. It's a blessing to have her by my side. I just want to kind of give you a little bit of insight into leadership insights and what they've done for our church and what they've done for me as a minister. Being in ministry for about 15 years, you kind of get saturated with certain things and concepts and ways to do church and you think that you really got it figured out. And uh, one thing that uh, Nelson Searcy's Leadership Insights have done for me is it's given me a brand new perspective. It really has kind of helped me think outside the box. <laughs> it's been amazing at uh, some of the things and concepts that have been introduced to me. That's kind of changed my whole view of the way to do church. Specifically when it, came, when it comes down to kind of um, getting folks to get involved and to have ownership. In our world today, it's tough to try to get people to, you know, to get involved, to become engaged. Specifically when it comes to certain things like, uh, you know, volunteering, uh, when it comes to supporting the church through their tithe, when it comes to uh, getting excited about what's happening in the body together. I know, it's been very contagious and the whole congregation is just excited about doing everything. Yeah, it really, really is. <laughs> One thing we've done is we've taken the Maximize and we've implemented it and, and we've been shocked at the, uh, at the change that it's brought to our church. Maximize is the, um, the stewardship, cultivating the stewardship culture. And uh, by doing that, we've been able to uh, see a dramatic in increase of people's support for, you know, from, their, from their giving. And, uh, and, and not only that, it's, it's just the fact that people really get behind what we're doing now because they believe in what we're doing. So they support that financially. And then when it comes to doing some of the different things we've tried, we, we've taken the view of big days now and have incorporated that through our summer season. And um, we just finished Hunger Project 142 where we packaged 142,000 meals. And what we did is we invited our entire community to do that. And we had over 600 people come just to be able to do that. And so we used that as a big day concept and, and by implementing that um, and kind of communicating what we want to do in our community and sowing seeds or planting seeds through the summer, we've seen a tremendous increase of people through the summer, which we're a little bit fearful of because now we understand we have to harvest that in the fall. So uh, I just can't say enough about the things that I'm learning, the things that I'm continuing to learn, and the fact that if you do ministry for any amount of time, you become saturated with ideas and it's so good and refreshing to have someone introduce new concepts, new ideas, and new perspectives. And that's really what it's done for me. So I sure appreciate it.